one of the significant events that drew my attention to the importance of flag protection designs took place on the 3rd of June 2015. Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Isis Sigua. I'm an international student here in Europe currently pursuing a master's in applied ecohydrology. So this channel is just to be showing my journey as an Erasmus Mundo scholar in Europe. So this is just also um, a continuation of the previous video which I posted. So if you haven't watched it yet, please go and watch it because I shared some tips that you could also use to write a motivational letter, especially for Erasmus Mundo scholarship. So you could watch that and come back to this. So let's just um, get to reading because I know that's why most of you are here anyway. So once again, I'm reading from my laptop. <laughs> so this is my first paragraph, my introduction. Ghana faces a challenge when it comes to water security issues, which only becomes a major concern when disaster strikes, especially when it comes to flood occurrences. One of the significant events that drew my attention to the importance of flag protection designs took place on the 3rd of June 2015, with Ghana experiencing one of its biggest flag disasters ever. The flag claimed over 150 lives that day, while several others sustained injuries. Sad as it was, no actual flood management plan has been formulated in response or as a solution to prevent a similar issue from occurring in the future. So this was my this opening statement <laughs> or introduction. So um, as I said previously, you could start with a problem that you have seen or that something that has happened in your country or in your environment or wherever you find yourself and you're trying to solve that problem. And I put this there because it's an issue that like, gets really dear to my heart because it's like um during this disaster happening like i had my family members really close to this and it's also something that um is really being remembered in ghana i think every year because it was a really big um, situation that happened and once again i added this because it was something that the program like was about like they had um in their models about flood protection techniques which I'm going to further explain. But once again, you should um, do your research so it helps you tie down like the problem that you want to solve with that program. So, um, to the next paragraph. So, um, I, I'm just going to read. <laughs> My goal for applying to the eco-hydrology program is to further understand the root of this problem and to assist in finding flood protection solutions to support the development of Ghanaian societies. The evolving curriculum of this program piqued my interest as it involves nature-based solutions and flood protection techniques, which are clear with practical-oriented methods for solving water management issues in the real world. I am confident that the theoretical and practical training of this program, with an emphasis on research participation, internship and community service will reinforce my career interest in water management on a universal level. So with this part or this paragraph, I literally like did my research and like put like models that they have there, how it's going to support my problem. Like um they do with a lot of internship has to do with a lot of community service. All these things are things that like it's really important to the school, to my program. So they've emphasized it on their website. So I just put this together to show why I'm applying for this program. Like what's my interest in the program, which is what I have stated clearly for them to understand. Going further, I also added in addition to the program, I believe that exposure to a wide range of cultural practices will help me work effectively with people from various backgrounds and ultimately better equip me 
for a career in the international arena. Likewise, the prospect of exploring Europe through the lens of its culture, cuisine, architecture, arts, and language is an experience I am very excited about. So here, it's also like to back up the paragraph I just finished reading. So uh, it's like I mentioned that apart from like the courses, apart from the models, like these are also things I want to experience, which is what Europe is mostly about. Like you are going to explore so many things, so many cultures, you're going to be working with people from different backgrounds. So I'm, I just stated like um, this to show my interest and in, like being open to when it comes to like embracing Europe, embracing the people, embracing the changes that will be occurring in the two years of my master's program here. So, um, yeah, I just try to state it very clearly for them to <laughs> understand. And um, the next paragraph is, with the knowledge I will gain, I will explore methods for designing flag protection plans with a sustainable approach that will not compromise the environment. I would also combine the technological resources I will acquire to research ways excess flood water can be used for other beneficial activities. In Ghana, the amount of flood water that goes to waste is massive, which needs to be taken advantage of as a resource for communities that lack potable water. I also aim to educate the populace on ways flood protection plans can reduce the related risks that comes with this occurrence. So, <laughs> I think I'm using a lot of so, but well, <laughs> with this part, I am just like showing them that the knowledge I'll be gaining from their master's program, I was able to solve this program, but how? The next problem, but how? So, I'm just stating. I'm going to use this model here to solve this problem. If this doesn't work, there's an alternative. And all this is still tying down like everything I have written together. So and it flows like from this to this to this, like it's like in an order. So it's just flowing. And my next, the next thing I also wrote was um, type, sorry, was I have explored my interest in this field by pursuing a bachelor's degree in environmental science at the University of Cape Coast, Ghana, where I emerged at the top of my graduating class. As an undergraduate, my passion for research in this field was initially cultivated during my final thesis, which was titled, so I just added a title there. So here I'm just trying to show them like the research or my, my educational background because like here, it's part of the requirement that you should have this. So even though they'll be checking your certificate or your transcript, I still wanted it to be clear and then like to show that, so I got my interest to pursue this out of my background. So to show that my background was like a base for me wanting to pursue this program. So I also went on to add that, um, like what I, I gained from my thesis because you can't just state that I did this thesis and you don't mention anything about it. So I stated I aimed to evaluate the quality of packet drinking water using psychochemical and microbial techniques, which taught me to be an independent collaborator and also about the process of lab data collection, interpretation and use. Subsequently, as a teaching and research assistant, I co-authored published research, which aimed at reducing the pH and ion concentration of bauxite mining wastewater using activated clays. And I mentioned I had key roles in data collection and analysis of wastewater samples. I put this there to support my thesis research because both of this are relevant to the program I was applying for, luckily. <laughs> so I just try to show them that I have these skills, like I'm not empty. So like I'm bringing this for you to add something, to top me up, <laughs> like to add something to what I already have. So um, I put this cause like I wanted to show that I'm having experience in research because in your master's program, you're going to be doing a lot of research. So it's really important for you to show them that you are capable of um, 
doing research when you are doing your master's program and then i also added that i have seen firsthand the impact that said variable research can have on a community i had the opportunity of working with professor Wedu, a student from duke university us as a group leader on an outreach project the project focused on educating and raising awareness amongst auto mechanics on the adverse effects of mishandling used engine oil on human health and the environment, especially water bodies. And I added, all these have equipped me with the necessary communication, human relations. Yeah, that will help me fit into the diverse environment, like the diverse environment of the program. So. <laughs> Um, all this, I was just trying to sell my stuff to them, like buy me, <laughs> like buy me, like um, this is what I have, like I am a very good candidate, so like I was just selling my stuff to them, like showing them that I can work as a team because um, with this uh, program, you're going to be collaborating a lot with people from different backgrounds. So I also showed them that I can work with people from multicultural backgrounds, I can work as a leader as well because I also stated, um, I was a group leader for a project so yeah so i can be a leader and be a team player i just wanted um to sell myself enough for them to see me because there are going to be so many people who have like way better things <laughs> than you so even the smallest experience that you think is not relevant like you could just rewrite it if you think like yes yeah like your motivation letter is so scanty you could just rewrite it and like make it fit like the relevance, let's let us show what the program like is looking for you. So my last paragraph. After a successful master's program, I will be well equipped with the required knowledge and skills to pursue a doctoral research in the field of water management and engineering. Therefore, I intend to earn a doctoral degree in the same area so that I can better educate students and conduct more research into sustainable water management and flood protection techniques. Following this, I aim to work with government organizations, NGOs, or independent corporations to be able to bring to bear my expertise and potential to develop cost-effective flood protection techniques that are environmentally friendly to benefit communities in Ghana and hopefully the world. <laughs> so this is um, how I concluded mine. So in this paragraph, I was just talking about what I'm going to do after the master's program, what I'm going to use it for in the future. Where do I see myself? What do I see myself doing after the master's program? And um, yeah, I just tied everything up and um, also added the fact that I'm not just planning to use this in Ghana, but hopefully <laughs> to uh, spread it across the world, like sharing the information across the world. So all this, I had in mind that I was having like a two page limit. So I tried my best to be precise and concise because I didn't have like um, the time to be playing around. And um, yeah, so this is what I have to share for you guys. And um, I just want to say this once again, please get someone to review your SOP motivational letter because you will not see every error <laughs> but someone can point even the simplest things that you know but you just missed because you're under pressure and my friends know that about me like I disturbed so many of them <laughs> like when it came to reviewing my SOP or my motivational letter so please try and do that get someone either a person like or two so maybe in terms of deadline like one of them can check it quickly for you and um yeah so i just hope um this really helps you if you haven't written yours i hope it gives you an idea if um you've already written yours and then you are just watching this to help improve yours i also hope you get some tips from this to also write yours and um please um Add any questions in the comments if you think I missed something. If um, you have an actual question, to I'll try my best to answer as quick as possible and in my capabilities because I'm not an expert. <laughs> and um, yeah, so um, 
if you've also stayed till this time i just want to say thank you thanks for watching and um yeah all the best in your application and um, i can't wait to hear so many good news from you guys um about the scholarship so thanks for watching again and um see you very soon <laughs> bye <laughs>